What's up guys, Majin Collector here, back for another video. Today I'll be talking a very interesting topic because what I'm going to do, I am going to be revealing my personal purchase history at the authorized dealer. This is possibly one of the most asked questions that I've seen online. You know, questions such as, you know, how much do you spend at the 80? How long do you have to wait for your watches to come? So today I'll be sharing my own personal purchase history that I've been buying from the 80, the list of watches that I bought from them, how long they are wait between each watches that I've queued for, um, the non-sports model one, you know, and the sports model ones that I've received, all for the aim to help some of you guys understand how the game at the 80 actually works. Before we move on to the video, remember to support the channel by subscribing. Uh, what I'm doing today is sharing something very personal, so I hope you guys will appreciate it. And by subscribing, it lets me know to continue making videos for you guys. Also, before we start talking about my purchase history, if you want to know what are the different tiers of spending that you need at the 80, here's a rough guide on the video that I've made previously. Or if you want tips and advice for choosing an 80, look up this video before buying your first watch from the 80. So I started the relationship with my 80 on the September of 2019. And the first watch that I actually bought from them was a gift to my wife and that was a Rolex Ladies Datejust 36mm. They don't do the Ladies Datejust in such a small size anymore. I think they do anywhere from 38mm and above. So 36mm at that time was the you know, very last production for that size. So yeah, the watch was a two-tone in rose gold with a mother of pearl dial. So yeah, that was the first watch that I bought um, from the AD. Moving on, it will actually take me about six months later to actually re-engage uh, this AD of mine. And on the April of 2020, I actually dived into the world of Patek Flip and bought my first watch from the brand, which was a Patek Flip annual calendar 5396G um, in the Progret numeral dial. I actually reviewed that watch previously in my other video. So here's the card to the top for the review if you'd like to see that watch. And at the same time, I actually bought another watch from Patek Philippe. So in total, I bought two uh, watches from the brand. And the other watch was a Patek Philippe Ladies Annual Calendar 4947R-001. Uh, and after buying these two watches, I know that I built up quite a substantial purchase history with my AD. And at a point of time, I expressed my interest in a Patek Philippe Nautilus um, the specific model was a 5712 um, in the rose gold and leather strap version and I didn't actually wait that long to obtain the Nautilus I waited about 4 months time before my AD told me to come and get it uh, I think it was by the end of September 2020 uh, that the watch has arrived but before I gotten that Nautilus uh, my AD actually asked me if there was any other watches that I wanted because he didn't exactly know when the Nautilus will actually arrive um, and so he asked me if there's any other watches that I would like to queue up for and at that time I actually had an eye on some Rolex uh, steel sports model and I actually expressed my interest for a Rolex Yardmaster in blue dial and also a Rolex Skydiver in blue dial as well and so my Yardmaster which was in the 40mm it actually arrived much earlier than the Nautilus it arrived in the August of 2020 and I managed to pick that up at the 80 before the Nautilus and for my Sky Dollar, it actually arrived after the Nautilus. Uh, there was a bit of waiting time um, before that watch actually arrived. It arrived in the January of 2021. So there were actually about 8 months of waiting time um, for the Rolex Sky Dollar to arrive. And the thing to note is that my AD actually told me that they don't receive um, a lot of the stainless steel Sky Dollar in Blue Dial. He said that uh, even in 2020, he managed to receive only one watch. And so in 2021, he expects to receive either one or two. I managed to get one in the January of 2021. Moving on, the next watch that I bought from my AD uh, is actually not a steel sports model watch, uh, not one of the hot categories. And in the February of 2021, I actually bought another Patek Flip, which was a Patek Flip World Time 5930G-010 uh, with the chronograph movement uh, in the World Time. So this Patek Flip World Time is another exquisite piece that I managed to get from my AD. And you know, if you'd like to know more about the watch, I might do a review on it. Just let me know in the comments down below. So after buying that Patek Philippe World Time, I subsequently uh, expressed my interest for another uh, watch. And this time it was a pretty hot watch at that moment. And the watch that I asked for was a Rolex GMT Pepsi uh, with the Jubilee dial. And for this watch, even though it is quite a hot watch at the moment, uh, my AD actually told me that they receive about one piece every one or two months. So they do come quite frequently and actually I managed to receive that watch uh, pretty quickly. I received it in the March of 2021 so I waited about you know, a month for that watch to arrive. And so that wraps up my purchase history with my AD so far. I guess some of the questions that you might ask is that I actually purchased quite a number of watches from my AD but the watches that I queued up for may not tally in terms of the value. 
So I guess I'll explain why. The main reason is that I actually uh, wanted to have some buffer because I actually sounded out to my AD that I'm actually waiting for um, a specific type of watch. Uh, these models are actually quite rare. It's very hard for the AD to actually receive some of these models. So they are actually uncertain on when they are able to get the stock. So they may not even get uh, one of these pieces um, you know, in one year or even in two years. So there may be quite a waiting list for it or there may not even be a waiting list. My ID actually told me that they do not particularly have a waiting list for some of these models. What they do is that when these pieces actually do arrive, they will then uh, look for customers who have previously sounded out that they are actually looking out for these models and you know, then they will contact um, these customers uh, for it. So the watches that I've expressed my interest in is the Rolex Daytona Platinum, the king of Daytonas. Uh, I also expressed my interest in the Rolex Daytona Yellow Gold uh, with the green dial, also commonly known as the John Mayer Daytona. And lastly, I think I've mentioned this in some of my previous videos, is that uh, this is also one of my grill watches. And that is the Patek Philippe Nautilus 5990 in the blue dial, uh, which was a new collection recently launched in 2021. Besides these three rare pieces, I'm actually queuing up for two fairly obtainable uh, Patek Philippe Nautiluses. The two watches that I'm actually queuing up for is the Patek Philippe Nautilus uh, 5711 uh, in the rose gold with brown down. And the second watch is the Patek Philippe Nautilus 5980-1AR, which is the only two-tone uh, Nautilus in the entire lineup. Okay, I guess this wraps up my video for today. Hopefully, the information that I've shared will be able to shed some light on how the waiting list and the purchase history works at the AD. And you know, you are able to benefit from this kind of information. So let me know if there's any questions regarding this video. I'll be happy to answer it in the comment section down below. And if you have any other videos that you'd like to see me post, let me know as well in the comment section and I'll try to uh, bring up the discussion for it. Until then, stay safe and happy fighting. I'll see you guys next time.